These are the best low-end PC settings in Fortnite to boost your FPS and reduce your input delay. These settings will make your low-end PC turn into the best looking PC in the world. And if this video does actually end up working for you, please subscribe. Please. And do not forget to use the best code in the item shop. Code Tracer. What will you get from using this code? Nothing. But my happiness. And without further ado, let's get right into the video all right guys so for the first thing you want to go ahead and do is you want to head over to by the way this is my epic if you want to add me so the first thing you want to go ahead and do is you want to head over to your in-game settings and you want to make sure that your window mode is on full screen because as fortnite themselves they state that in full screen mode you cannot interact with other windows as easily therefore you're going to be getting a slight fps boost probably lower input delay then you want to make sure that you're running a stretch resolution i've actually made a tutorial on how to get stretch resolution on full screen Stretch resolution does have lots of benefits like more FPS, less input delay, large hitboxes which actually improve your aim. Then you want to make sure that VSync is disabled. Then for your frame rate limit, make sure that you set it to your monitor's refresh rate. Let's say for instance you have a 144Hz monitor and you try to play on 240FPS, there's no point because you're only going to see 144. Then for your rendering mode, make sure that you have it on performance mode. Onto your graphics settings, it's personal preference, but I have it on 90 brightness and Triton up 8. Onto your graphics quality, make sure your 3D resolution is anywhere between 85 to 90, because when you actually lower your 3D resolution, you're rendering less pixels, which results in more FPS and less input delay. Make sure that Nanite virtualized geometry is turned off, view distance on near, your textures on low, and your meshes on low. These three settings are very, very important in order to boost your FPS and reduce your input delay especially the meshes. Low meshes is basically the mobile builds and the high meshes is basically like the normal builds from DirectX 11. Then you wanna head over to your sound settings. You wanna scroll a little bit down. And if you really care about FPS that much, make sure you have visualized sound effects turned off. Although it does not really affect your FPS. Now head over to your game settings, scroll a little bit down until you find replays. Where is it? Oh, there it is. And you wanna make sure that everything that has to do with replays is turned off. Recording replays can reduce performance and take up hard drive space and obviously we do not want that so you want to make sure that everything here is turned off. As well as energy saving, make sure that these two are off. So you want to press Windows and I to open your settings. Once you open your settings, you want to head over to gaming right here. Then you want to head over to game mode and you want to make sure that game mode is turned off, especially for low NPCs. This is basically going to optimize your PC by turning off things in the background, only focusing on Fortnite. Then you want to head over to graphics change default graphics settings and you want to make sure that hardware accelerated gpu scheduling is turned on this is basically a safe gpu overclock which is going to reduce latency and improve performance then you want to go ahead and download the tracer optimization pack which includes lots of registration entries and tweaks and it also has an nvidia profile inspector custom file nip for the nvidia profile inspector so to download this pack you want to head over to discord over to discover right here and you want to search for tracer tweaks Bang. and this is basically my discord server you want to go ahead and join it or i'm gonna leave it down below in the description anyways you're gonna find the video in the videos tab right here just click on the videos and i'm gonna upload it here later on then you want to go ahead and open the tweaks this is basically lots of registry tweaks if you do not know tweaking utilities and applications are actually made with registration tweaks or registration entries these basically edit your reg edit files which are this so these basically edit these in your system so yeah so you want to go ahead and apply the tweaks one by one so let's say for instance you want to apply ram speed click on it run do you want to continue click on yes click on okay that means that it worked anyways you want to head over to your nvidia profile inspector and i'm not really sure if the file is going to open here but if it does not open just simply download it from your browser just search up nvidia profile inspector download search for this you want to go ahead and open on this then you want to just click on this nvidia profile inspector.zip anyways we're just going to open this i'm not really sure if it's going to open for you or not but yeah all right you want to go to the profiles and you want to make sure that it's on fortnite then you want to go ahead and press on enter then you want to go ahead and import user defined profiles import the profile and import the low graphics.nip this is basically something really similar to potato graphics but it's not potato graphics do not worry your graphics will still look nice so yeah it's just it's going to drastically boost your fps and reduce your input delay then you want to head over to your epic game settings this is the last thing i promise you want to head over to library right here you want to go ahead and locate fortnite and you want to press on those little three dots you want to click on options and here you're going to open the fortnite installation options you want to make sure that fortnite save the world is unchecked high resolution textures this literally kills your fps make sure that this is unchecked 
because this is like basically high resolution it's pretty self-explanatory it's basically high quality then you want to make sure that you have pre-downloaded streamed assets checked this will basically download all the assets in the game rather than streaming them and when you stream assets during gameplay it's really hardware and network demanding so we obviously we don't want that so just have this on then press apply and just close up your games now we're gonna head over to the best nvidia control panel settings now obviously not everybody has nvidia but i will get an amd gpu soon so i can actually kind of do like amd tutorials so i'm really sorry if you don't have an nvidia gpu anyways you want to go ahead and copy these settings because like because like the description is literally down here so if you do not know what something does it's literally down there so yeah so just go ahead and copy these settings That is it for today's video guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.